All right, gang, so welcome here to Studio One in San Francisco. And today, we're going to talk about the top end of range. A lot of our focus and attention, rightfully, gets put towards what we call strength endurance training, so holding high torque, low cadence pedaling. It's a key component in purple patch training. In fact, so much so that we call it the special source. But we also do a lot of work focusing on what we label neurological conditioning, asking you to place the emphasis on cardiovascular stress by having relatively low power, but at higher and higher and higher cadence. The key is this thing that wants to transfer into really good fluid pedal stroke. And there's a couple of mistakes that occur that we want to avoid, and also some cues and tips to help you be successful. And so, at a low power, if I start pedaling, very commonly, as I pick up cadence, 95, 100, 105, 120 revolutions per minute, the common thing I see is a pogo stick effect. And the first mistake that we see athletes making is by having elbows locked, shoulders stiff, hands back on their bars. And so the first cue that you want to have, and this extends into every single bike interaction that you do, is hands forward, elbows soft, really fluid, nice steady posture. And then as we pick up the cadence, we want to remain statuesque, a supple statue as we call it on the bike. And we want to pick up cadence. And the way that you can achieve this is to start to sit heavy on the seat and almost uplift the fet pedals or the feet off the pedals, almost like they're riding on a little cushion of air. And take all the tension of the upper body, and in my mind, am I losing any tension on the chain? Even at low power, I'm looking to hold constant tension on the chain. Nice and relaxed, high pedaling, Sit here, a little bit of puff with the cardiovascular conditioning, but high, high value training. That's the how-to on high cadence or what we call upper end of range pedaling. I hope it helps.